All right. So to do a problem like this, ladies and gentlemen, if you look at what I did here, basically we know this is our C, this is our C, and that's our B, correct? When I'm doing this in my head, I am basically want to think about what two numbers multiply to give me positive 56 and then add to give me 15. If you can't think of those two numbers off the top of your head, in your head, I'm, gonna, I'm telling you what to do in your head or another way to do it, Think about all the numbers that give you 56. As I mentioned, please do not ask me if you're having trouble until you write down all the factors. So 56, we have 56 times 1. You have 28 times 2. 3 does not go in there. You could have 14 times 4. 5 does not go in there. Um, you have 6 does not go in there. And you have 8 times 7. Those are all the factors. Does everybody agree? Yes? Now, one of these factors has to add to give us 15, which those are? 8 and 7. Now, as I remembered, these numbers are the same as in your factors in the problems that we're going to be doing today. So your factored form would be x plus 8 times x plus 7. OK? A lot less work. but So what we'll do, um, I'll give you guys about 10 minutes when you guys return from lunch.